And here we are on the shores of beautiful Little Lake Park in Midland, Ontario. Located behind us is uh, one of about 15 major lakes. These are kettle lakes uh, caused ultimately by the retreat of the uh, glaciers. And in this location, probably a very large body of ice was maintained uh, well after all the soil had been deposited thereby causing what we refer to as these Kettle Lakes. Um, Little Lake is about 320 acres in size, and we have a number of Huron villages that live around it. Um, so there's the Jones uh, Farm Huron Village, dates to about 1500 AD. Uh, further over this way is the Fallis Village. Um, <clears throat> these are sites that uh, relate to the uh, pre-European pre period. Um, and then of course, uh, there's up on the top of the hill near the museum is the ossuary. We believe that the ossuary relates to the Jones site, which again is on the Jones farm, which is on the southern shore of Little Lake. It's been known um, by a variety of different names. George Ludlow, for example, was one of the members of uh, Bayfield's uh, survey of Georgian Bay. And Ludlow, we know, settled along the Penetang Machine Road, which actually comes very, very close to the western edge of the lake. And so for a time, Ludlow was the only individual living on the, in the valley, uh, roughly where Sergeant's Fuel and Ready Mix are located. And that was George Ludlow's home. And of course, the lake became known as Ludlow's Lake. In 1882, a large portion of uh, the parkland itself was uh, bought and turned into a driving park. And uh, you would be able to go out into the country from downtown Midland and drive your buggy through the park, more or less in the road that we think that exists now today. So in 1887, Part of the park was purchased uh, by the growing town of Midland. Um, other parts and pieces of the park were donated by the Fraser family. Uh, in 1906, James Playfair, um, instead of coming in and allowing the property to be lumbered, purchased more land from some of the landowners and turned that over to the park. So over a long period of time, all of the pieces and elements that we now know to be Little Lake Park all came together as a park. Just after the war, once automobiles had become popular, uh, the town decided to create this as a tourist destination. And um, many, many cabins were built um, over here on the hill. Many, many sites for campsites with uh, tents on both wooden platforms and then tents right on the ground were allowed to be um, um, set up over here and the camp became a real destination. There's an estimate somewhere between 500 and 2,000 campers would make Little Lake Park a destination and the crowds in Little Lake would be fantastic. There would literally be two, three thousand people here for a major event or for a major regatta. It was a very, very well used park. Uh, but then the town of Midland in 1990 stopped allowing people to come in and camp in the park and made the park truly uh, a town park. So there's a number of amenities now that the park is able to, um, I guess, boast of. And that is, of course, a wonderful, uh, fairly shallow lake in which uh, all the sand is well maintained. It's a great spot for kids. Other amenities in the early 50s, the Huron Village was built here, the arena was built here. Um, in the uh, early 70s, the YMCA was built here. In the early 80s, the uh, rowing club uh, built a facility here in the park. Uh, of course, there's uh, extensive playgrounds. We have a very extensive uh, beach volleyball court that was built in the early 90s. So the, uh, the park is a wonderful facility for the community and um, it has quite an extensive history all its own.